I finally tried uh, wipes. Mmm, you finally on that wave, huh? Yeah, I'm team wet booty now. <laughs> I wouldn't call it that, but wipes are great. <laughs> but that was the thing that kind of made me nervous about trying them, is having, having a wet booty. Having a wet booty? Is somebody so, come so the, out the closet? Yeah. About time. Mm. So the first... Welcome to Crash Dummies, episode 58, I believe, right? 58. Uh, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, Um uh spotify wherever it, bro what are you doing bro something don't feel right you don't feel different different yeah i mean not really why something off bro yeah that's way better <laughs> something was definitely off the audio listeners are like what, what's oh going damn on? i forgot about them <laughs> we found out we was in the wrong seats <laughs> <laughs> we in a new studio so um yeah <laughs> so, well, i forgot where i was even at because i just cut this point oh anyways <laughs> oh you started the podcast episode 58 yeah 58 okay von miller von miller oh von miller i don't know if he's 58 <laughs> um anyways random ass you part. know what's crazy that i was thinking what is crazy my brother Wait, actually on. my volume sounds crazy it does you need to cut that part anyways because i need to tell people it was from reddit Yo, yo, okay, go ahead. You know what I saw on Reddit that kind of like blew my mind? What? Did you know that when people run in circles, the further they get out, the more sane they seem, right? If you see someone doing a lap on a track, what are they doing? Running in what? On a circle. Yeah. They're running in circles. Now imagine that person only does that around a cup. They seem a little crazy. Crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> People running in circles, bro, at different circles in life. What? This is just put so that random. Shit, put that shit on a um, on a Derrick Rose picture. What? Sometimes you got to run a circle at your own length. I like when people put quotes that ain't got shit to do with the picture. <laughs> <laughs> bro, what did I send you that was the dumbest? <laughs> it was the uh, Kivo Batman. <laughs> it said Kivo Bad Batman. He was like, he was Where did like, I send that to you? I'm on thinking. Instagram, he was like, oh, you can't make it. You ain't made in life because you sell weed, you talk to women, and you don't save money. Well, no, duh. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> Tell me how is. to get out of it. <laughs> here it is. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> What really mattered, you probably would have been way more successful, but you was putting girls first. You was putting weed first. You was putting alcohol first. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why you're not at the point where you're at. <laughs> bro, bro, you want to know? You want to know what's really fucked up about the quote? Yeah. He trying to talk like a motivational speech, but. What he's really doing is just telling you, hey, where you at is fucked up. It ain't nothing nobody can do about it. You fucked up. You was out there chasing women, smoking weed. He ain't giving no motivational thing out there. Like, hey, this is how you get out of that. Like, what type of? <laughs> but the thing about it, it, was such, it was so extreme thing. So it was like, what if I'm not doing anything and I'm still not I'm where still I am? still broke. <laughs> bro. That's not the only reason. Right. Uh, that was funny But it's still like Bro you didn't say nothing To like help people Get out of that <laughs> That's like me saying Look at you Right You yeah. dropped out of college You back living with your mom <laughs> If you ain't do that You would've made it by now And then somebody Supposed to be like You right I'm about to make it Like yeah. no It's just like You just pointed out What I did <laughs> You just basically said Damn homie In high school You was the man homie <laughs> the Fuck happened to you <laughs> Yeah that's Yeah Shout out to Batman Kevo though But that was a uh, that was not it. <laughs> but that wasn't it though. I saw uh, <laughs> so I saw somebody promoting somebody's chef business on Instagram. Your flashlight's on. I was recording. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> for the ops. <laughs> I saw somebody um, post somebody's their friend's chef business on their story. Right. Right. So I clicked on it to see the type of food they had. <laughs> You're such a hater, bro. So I clicked on it just to see what type did you of kill? Did you click on it with good intentions? It was good intentions. No, I don't think because he was did. a chef, and I, I don't know to... the last time I clicked on something with good intentions. If something looked good from afar, I'm gonna be like, that looked good. Yeah. But if something looked a little grimy, I'm gonna click on it. So I clicked on the reel from the story, went there, and then I noticed something. I was like, this man has no food content, but that one video on his page. 
Oh, damn. He made one plate. <laughs> he got so, one plate of shrimp Alfredo. So, like, man, I'm a chef, boy. So I was like, wait, would you order food for somebody that says there's a chef? They're a chef? And there's zero food content. <laughs> Fuck no. On their page. <laughs> That's like somebody saying, hey, I'm a car salesman. Come to my lot. And they got one car on that bitch. <laughs> like, check, check out this Toyota Camry. <laughs> if you don't like that, we got a Camry. Toyota. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> no, I was like, that's probably the worst, the worst thing I've ever seen. But I'm not promoting my friends, any of my friend stuff, unless they consistently do it get more than three shit times. Up. That's what, you know, uh, no, I be trying to, I always get a free game because I, that's how I got to position I am mm -hmm. right now. It was free game mm -hmm. by somebody somewhere. So unless like I'm super busy or something, anybody that messages me that I know already, I'm going to message back and mm -hmm. give them free game. Mm -hmm. But for the people that don't know, I just that that I don't know, it's not hard for me to, to give them free game. It's hard for me to talk to them for like more than three or four messages. Yeah. So I feel like people should just like come with like what the hell you want, like right away, have your questions for them. Cause you never know when you're gonna get free game. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> Your point just kind of threw me off. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> I, was, I was talking about but like. I was just in the thought like, damn. <laughs> I was talking about how people that, your friends that do something, they come out like one song, but they never come out with any other song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're yeah. not going to promote their song because it's just one song. You're not consistent with this. I'm not trying to. Yeah, Who's I ain't you? giving nobody. Yeah. I, I so, so that. You no, I, I was talking. I guess, I guess my thought process was saying that. Nobody comes in like they won't ask you like or to get their stuff up. Or I know you didn't do a lot of research. Yeah. You're just like, bro, you got one post on your page. Go to every chef page that you admire or that you look from afar and you just be like, do they got one post? They probably got a thousand posts. Yeah. That's how we gauge everything. We don't sit there and just go. We didn't put out one podcast clip and be like, damn, that shit did not get a million yeah. views. I guess. Hey, <laughs> I think. uh People always like my old things. Like if you can Google it, don't ask me the question. Fact, that is facts, bro. <laughs> That's true. That's why. But I do like. Hey, how y'all be posting them IG reels? <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> it literally, the the CEO of uh, IG would tell yeah. you that. But that's why, like, even now I have, like, a little mentorship thing I do. This is, like, a little shameless plug. But I do have a paid mentorship for, like, entrepreneurship and marketing and all that stuff. So that's why I don't even, like, with people. How is it a shameless plug if it's your show? I know. Shameless plug. That's not shameless plug if it's your show. Shameless plug. I no, feel I'm like... shamelessly plugging it. Like, I don't have any shame. Shameless. Nah. I feel like shameless plug is, like, somebody being humble. Like, it's a shameless plug. It I is being humble, but it's, like, yeah. I'm shameless, like. What you got to be humble for is your show. Is this? Yeah. Damn, I thought I was signed. I thought I signed a 360 deal. I do got your ass in the 360 deal. <laughs> I, <got it> here. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I can make the thing about it. I have the power, though. Because I can make you say anything on this podcast by just chopping up your words. I just start stealing the drive and editing myself. True, you can. And come you... out with Crash Dummies podcast, and we just keep posting it back to back. <laughs> Pat's version, Mike's version. <laughs> How you want to play it? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian are no more. That's good. <laughs> it's like... I mean, honestly, dude... I saw one of his jokes over the. I knew he. I knew uh, part of his comedic approach is dark humor. Mm -hmm. I knew that already. I didn't know like he would go like super dark. Like he had this joke about. Um, I want to see if I can find it. He had this joke about getting sauce on his hand. Sauce. Yeah, and a kid licking it off. Huh. So. Uh, viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> I just let you know this is like this is a dark humor joke. I don't, I don't agree with. That's why I feel like him Bro, being. A, the clip. I got no. I gotta explain this. <laughs> this is some shit right here. <laughs> TV, right? And uh, so like we were watching Forensic Files, and I was just sitting there, and uh, he he's teething, so he just like grabbed my hand and started like sucking my fingers. But like good. What the? Like, like I definitely left it in there for a second. Whoa, dude, come on. <laughs> that's kind of a wild joke. That's wild, bro. <laughs> that's, that's way too. Heavy. And even like, okay, that's from two years ago. But like, 
that net like bro i just i mean never would that, that joke ever yeah. cross my mind <laughs> like at any stage of my, i could have been 12 and that's still like is what some people use age, but dude's like thir- in his 30s. <laughs> so two years ago, he's still a grown ass adult. He grown, he a grown ass man, bro. No, that's that's a crazy thing. But anyway. So that's why I knew it wasn't going to last. That's how I put it. Like, I, I she got kids. I think that too. And plus just the whole Kim Kardashian. Hey. Like, like, I don't think like there's going to be a relationship that lasts last. I know I'm going to catch a lot of flack for this. What? <laughs> All right. A lot of flack for this. All right. I understand that Kim Kardashian is probably a billionaire okay. or close to it. Yeah. I understand. But let's just take that away. Let's take her being a Kardashian away. She is a woman with four kids and a crazy baby daddy. <laughs> I don't care. No amount of money can yeah. make me deal with that shit. <laughs> yeah. You telling me this dude can pop up anytime? <laughs> he has the means to pop up anytime. Kanye has Batman money. <laughs> yeah. Like this man can make my life miserable. All these people in here, Kanye has so much money that at my comedic shows, which I'm Pete Davidson, I'm not selling out arenas, like big arenas, but I'm doing pretty well, mm-hmm. right? Kanye still has enough money for to buy everybody in there and make them all actors if Kanye really wanted to Mm -hmm. as soon as Pete Davidson come out with a show he could sell it out hire a bunch of actors and get them to go in there and boo Pete Davidson I'm just that type of power bro and just like that's your baby dad plus he's more famous than me your kids are technically more famous than me you're more famous than me your sisters are more famous than me every time I come around I'm the little man I'm Lamar Odom yeah without the crack but <laughs> without the crack he might be doing crack too no nah, hell no nah. lamar ain't oh pete yeah <laughs> <laughs> i said lamar clean <laughs> Wait, say, hey, hey. <laughs> my guy lamar clean i just talked to him yesterday talked he's still to trying him. to get his old thing back too who lamar he's starting to get chloe she just had a baby i know he's trying to he say he still like makes comments that's like, weird i would never do that too because you know tristan thompson um is having a baby with another woman yeah oh i, I mean he was seen he was seen in uh, Greece or some shit. Nobody's spreading girl. hella rumors. No, he was, he was, and but he, they said they weren't together, so it didn't matter. Yeah. It's just funny because I don't know. <laughs> I feel like there was other Kardashian news, not Kardashian news, um, Jenner news, and at least to Travis Scott had his first concert. Oh, but before we go to Travis Scott, I was gonna say Sport. something about concert. I was gonna say something about Tristan Thompson again. Do you Either. think? Do you think he likes that role of being known as like the toxic guy that cheats all the time? I feel like he. Uh, a lot of NBA players disappear. Like, all right, for instance, like Kawhi Leonard, right? Mm-hmm. When Kawhi Leonard's done, he is done as far as like fame. Mm-hmm. So, whatever he did in basketball, clear, <laughs> that's all he can hang himself to. Mm-hmm. A lot of these dudes aren't going to make money after. Yeah. Like big money, how yeah. they are. I feel like Tristan can. Mm-hmm. When Tristan's done with the NBA, that first interview where he's like able to talk outside of being under that NBA government is yeah. going to be. He's going to get paid. Then if he can go into reality TV easy, yeah. people definitely want to see what Tristan Thompson's up to of all this stuff because he's never really came out and talked. Like, I've never seen him talk about the rumors. I've seen quotes written down. I've never seen him like, yeah, I got caught or whatever, or that ain't true. Like, I've never seen him deny anything. Mm-hmm. So his career is set, like, and go after he's yeah. gonna make so much more money plus lebron got him that damn contract the reason i was asking though was that when he was in that drake video when drake was marrying the the 50 right. the 50 girls yeah he was the best man so it was like one of those things where it's like he acknowledged he, that he he living up to the toxicness and there was another conversation too <laughs> about like toxic r&b like people liking toxic r&b now like there's a lot of r&b artists like a lot of r&b r&b artists they're not really talking about like falling in love that much anymore oh they talking about like <laughs> being your second boyfriend yeah. and stuff like that that's been going on but yeah it's more popular now yeah i think it's more popular yeah it's better than if he did come out with uh i'm boyfriend number two i don't mind the r&b today yeah right mm. i know it's getting a little toxic you know people saying they the boyfriend number two or they admitting that they're cheating on their girls in the songs i don't care about none of that you know like that's a little bit better I'm not saying it's the best, 
but it's better than them begging ass dudes in the old days. <laughs> yeah. That can we talk? <laughs> like, dude was stalking her the whole. What you mean? Yeah. Can we talk for a minute? She already said no. Especially Tevin, the ones that are dancing in the rain. Dancing in the rain, <laughs> wild as hell. You catching pneumonia for a girl that won't even open her door. <laughs> she know it's raining. She letting you out there in the storm. How long you been dancing? Yeah, <laughs> that's wild to dance for more than twenty seconds. <laughs> like. Bro, she ain't turned on the lights yet. Or following a girl <laughs> down the street dancing. Oh, yeah. Like, like Omarion. Or Chris Brown. Yeah. <laughs> that Dude, was a lot. Was, have you seen? Uh, <laughs> like that. And he popped off the wall, and she, he waited on her to come out of the store. That's funny. That a Imagine lot of, if we did that today. That's a lot funny. A lot of videos were like that. They were like stalking. A, like, like, <laughs> like Omarion. Like, oh. And, he start, and then she, like, pushes him away. Like, get yeah. away from me. Yeah. And that, then he decides to keep pop blocking. That boy getting 60 days. He do that shit today. <laughs> <laughs> Doing 60 the hard way. Bro, you know something I also noted about, uh, noticed about a lot of uh, music videos was a lot of them, they film it in, like, their corridors. So, like, when you open the door, that little area, the foyer, the foyer area. Let me show you an example because I had this down. But there's a lot of videos that that shoot their videos in the the foyer area. So like this one, this Chris Brown one. Oh, the <laughs> like the where yeah, you yeah. see the staircases and stuff like that. Yeah. But why is that such a popular spot? And this is a nasty video. But I'm not gonna lie. There's too many dudes in the corridor. Look at this. <laughs> Why are you saying nasty? Like? No, no, this the the people in it though. It's future August Asina, DJ oh, Khaled. All, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now Chris it's like Brown, ra rap. Look at this. Yeah, rapper is barely in a. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's definitely a different uh, scene now because yeah. rappers are barely in the same scene when they feature on each exactly. other's songs. <laughs> now, like back then, they used to be like in the same house and yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> it's all all those rich dudes in a corridor. It's yeah, just crazy. it's just crazy. Bro, it's rare. It was crazy now with music. It's rare for people to even um have the same theme on a song. Mm -hmm. Ain't that weird? The same theme. Yeah. What do you mean? Like the same theme. Like if it's uh, a rapper, uh, you know, like, remember like, I don't know, J. Cole and Miguel when they came out. Mm -hmm. And just be like, the song, the chorus kind of matched the rap. You know yeah. what I mean? Or when somebody's featuring, it kind of match. Like yeah. this shit don't match. Remember Same Girl? Yeah. And I can't even say the artist who sings Same Girl. <laughs> it was Usher featuring Usher. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but it used to be the same theme. Not these rappers get on the track and they just be talking about totally different things. They do be. I hate that. One person talking about his girl, the other one talking about his mama died. And yeah. you'd be like, this shit not the same, bro. You yeah. <laughs> just talking how he was clapping cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> Did you like that new Drake song that came out? Um, I like the concept of it. I get what they're trying to do. It's just like... This is, uh, this is an honest question about DJ Khaled. Do you think Drake is giving DJ Khaled his best tracks anymore? That's crazy. Because now I think about all Drake's DJ Khaled tracks, they not that great. Not since like... I'm on one. Because, you know, Drake always does the chorus for them. Yeah, he had he to did go hard. Cali was bigger than him, but he, on all one. The, the last ones he did was this one, Staying Alive one, Grease. Even my mother, yeah, and uh, what was the other one that released with Grease? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Mm, <laughs> I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah. <laughs> and he always, also did, turned it to the max. Uh, like, that album just went platinum. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah, and then the... I know what you're talking about, And though. then the, what do you call it? For free, would you me for free? That was actually tough. Uh, yeah, but that's just, that but was. But that's but that's DJ Khaled's style is to take um, these songs that you know, like the Outcast song or whatever, and give them to the new artists and make them put their own spin on and it. And uh, he's he's really sample heavy now a lot. And I think the thing that made me not like I like the song. It was a cool song, but I think it was the way that he hypes his songs up so much because he hypes a lot of his songs he's like. Course of the summer, course of the summer, and the course is a little catchy, mm -hmm. but it's just one of those things where it's like, I, I wouldn't have, if I was like in this group, I would have been like, ah, oh, this is all right. Like, it's just like uh, the staying alive sample, like ah yeah. ah 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 staying. I feel like there's so much that could have been. Khaled, it should have been bigger than what it was. Khaled took a wave and like rolled it 
and then everybody else kind of jumped. So Ka- I feel like Khaled started a wave. Mm-hmm. Just be like, let's get these new artists to like take these hooks and these choruses and just be like, take it from a song that everybody knows and like remake it. So you can hear still the, hear the old song in the background, but it's a new rapper over it with their own style over yeah. it. And everybody came to that like after Khaled started and everybody left that shit too. Now everybody likes samples, but they like sample a song to where you only can hear it if it's like rewind it or slow down or sped up yeah like whatever whatever it may be they try to hide it in there but still like give you that trickle effect where calories would be like oh you got exa- you got that exactly from here because i can hear it right in there mm-hmm. like so wild thoughts was like uh was one yeah <laughs> yeah 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 all that know. stuff yeah. ever since tyler outsold them on that that uh album clash they had before he hasn't been the same yeah that's the thing sometimes about um and he's getting a little bit bigger i don't he got he's getting bigger and he had he was on a weight he had a weight watchers deal <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say they was helping they said it was just watching bro he finessed bro that boy Khaled did a whole like revamp remember when his old stuff when he used to say the n-word all the time yeah <laughs> get out of that yeah. <laughs> done, he hasn't been the same person since that either smart man smart man <laughs> that boy paid t-pain his money too Khaled. he said uh t-pain said he never got paid for i'm so hood hook really yeah <laughs> that's crazy wow that's crazy i just saw t-pain performing at somebody what yeah <laughs> What? Oh, that's just a wild thing, that, that, a random thing. I'm just saying he's performing at that's somebody's cool, wedding. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, yeah. I'd want T-Pain to perform at my wedding. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was an upscale wedding, though. Yeah, yeah. It was somebody famous. Yeah. I think Jason Tatum was there. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're definitely. That's always funny when people, like, invite you to the wedding. Like, if I was, a, like, a musician, a famous musician, and, like, my friend, like, hey, bro, you trying to come to my wedding? You already know. I mean, you get that. <laughs> when you're a photographer. Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't, like, you like, what you mean, come to your wedding? You got a photographer already? Yeah. We might have a mic there too, so if you we might do a little karaoke night. <laughs> they set you up. You can't get out of that setup either. Yeah. <laughs> if you John Legend, you'd be like, "Damn, do I know this dude?" They put um, this. The happen if your John Legend, it just happens to be a piano there, perfectly tuned for you. <laughs> nah, you know I, that's how I set up John Legend. I'll, I'll get up there and start singing his shit horribly. Yeah. Be like, man, I can't do this, John. <laughs> John, <laughs> finish your shit, man. Or you just trick him and do, thinking it's karaoke night, and then you all on stage singing the same song. Yeah. Where it just, and then everybody just like starts to back up. Oh, yeah. And then you're the only one singing. Feel that shit, John. <laughs> then the couple, the, the marriage couple, hurry up and start dancing. Yeah. Like, yeah, we always want to dance to John Legend. Yeah. The only way to do it, the cheapest way. Exactly. Everybody paying you $50,000. <laughs> Sing. <laughs> Would you take $50 million today? If it meant that you only could walk places you want to go, you're not allowed any form of transportation, but your own two feet. Mm. So if I want to go to another country, it just you gotta walk. I gotta walk. Yeah. Damn. So I'm stuck pretty much in where I'm at for fifty mil. <sighs> nah, I don't think I would. You don't think you would do it? Nah. You can't play sports no more either. Why couldn't I play sports? Cause you. Oh, I'm stupid. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm keeping that in. No, nah, cut that out. No, but no, I understand what you're saying though. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like having that much money, right, and not being able to really experience the. Because I feel like when you get that type of money, the main thing that's going to pretty much give you that enjoyment is like the experiences that you you have, right, and going to different countries and all this stuff, this type of things, but. 50 million and being stuck in like a 25 mile radius. Cause I don't think I'm walking more than 10 miles to be honest. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> it's gonna take you some time to get places. Yeah, I just have to bring the entertainment to, but that sounds expensive too. Yeah. <laughs> Bringing all the entertainment to yourself. Like, nah, bring me the Eiffel Tower, bro. You have to create your own, <laughs> your own city. Yeah, like Vegas, like has yeah. little pyramids and shit. You got to create your own city. You're going to have to, before, hey, before I take this, would you rather? Let me fly to Montana real quick. <laughs> Get as much land as possible. And create your own. Yeah, that's the only way. Yeah. Bring me that. You know, y- y'all seen the, the Statue of Liberty? I need one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Put that shit right in the backyard. I need to New York. <laughs> Just make a mini New York. Yeah. I ain't going nowhere. They're going to look at your backyard. You're going to have a New York, Vegas, Houston. Yeah, that's crazy. Atlanta. 
Yeah. You're going to have a Nigeria. You might have to That's you might have to dudes. just bring the concerts, the concerts you want to go to. With some bamboo. What? <laughs> the concerts you want to kind of go to, you got to like pay the artist to come to your house and then maybe sell out the stadium <laughs> build this there's so much 50 million can't really get you a stadium either <laughs> that's so <Nah>. funny <laughs> you got to pay people to stay yeah Man, how much how much you need <laughs> no nah, i'm not taking the 50 nah <laughs> that's how? tough that's that's, that's tough it's crazy it's tough to turn down 50 million and there's like no there's no repercussions there's nothing it's like no there's no, like good job bro you picked the right decision <laughs> like damn it's tough it's tough to leave 50 million <laughs> I'm gonna have to walk away. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> yeah. It's but anything with these money questions, I always realize that people it doesn't really matter what your answer is right now. Cause that 50 million in front of your face. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. All these people be like, I'm turning it down because my morals. Yeah. That's why I, I I feel like I'm still in the realm of like. I'm a good dude. I don't care what nobody say. If it's 10 million in somebody's life and I know the person, I wouldn't care how random it is. Yeah. I'm not taking the 10 million yeah. because I just couldn't know that I took that person's life. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people that's taking that 10 million. <laughs> like in a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. And then some people say it out loud. Yeah. That's I might crazy. Take 10 huh? I might take the 10 million. And you know the person that's going to? That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Their death was in a good cause. I'm just joking. <laughs> that boy thought was for real? Man, nah. You for real, you're, bro. You're, you're questioning our friendship? Nah, I ain't questioning it. Huh? If I got to kill as a friend, I got to kill him, man. Oh, oh! did you hear the news that uh, Klondike... Klondike. <laughs> How do you pronounce it again? Nah, you do <laughs> Klondike. Cancel this man! <laughs> Speaking of... <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> How you cut that out? <laughs> no, I was talking about that Britney Griner video. The the meme with those. <laughs> those... <laughs> you can't say that. No, I know it's fine. Oh, okay, okay. I was just studs. <laughs> 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 no, that's what the video said. You can't there do that. A, bro. There was a video of the, the these girls. They were they were doing like a uh, what's what's that type of a contemporary art play of Britney Griner going to jail? Cosplay, not cosplay, like the con- contemporary. I don't know what you're talking about. You didn't see the video I'm talking about? Yeah, that's what I'm talking. About. Like you never see those contemporary art stuff when people are dancing to a music. And that the music oh. is supposed to be a message. Oh, okay. So they were doing that. But I think there's no way my words can do it justice anyway. But again, back to what I was actually trying to say. Yeah, I don't even know why you're trying to explain that video. <laughs> uh, is it Klondike's? Sure. <laughs> okay, anyway, did you hear that the Coco Tacos are making a comeback after they first said they were going to uh, cancel them? Why would they cancel them? Because they were just going to stop... Uh, making, production, them? making them, right? I think that's a good, that's a good marketing tactic. That's what I was saying because... The thing about like things that are nostalgic, like that's nostalgic, right? The little ice cream sandwiches are, are nostalgic. The Oreos are nostalgic, right? Mm-hmm. But people might not be buying it every day, right? Mm-hmm. But now you say, hey, I'm going to take these away. These are never getting made. Now it's unlocking memories yeah. in people's head and saying, oh, I never even thought about getting this. But even knowing these are on the market, I might go get them again. But yeah. they said they weren't trying to. There was no marketing ploy in this, but. Because when they said they weren't gonna, they were discontinuing it. Everybody was like an uproar and stuff like that. But I'm like, yeah, it's everything is marketing, bro. Everything. Yeah, <laughs> everything is marketing. Even when people say something is sold out and yeah. then it magically appears on the show. Because they like, dude. That's why like, um, PS5 is like the greatest sell. Like PS5s will continue to sell, continue to sell, continue to sell. Mm-hmm. Because every time it comes out, people are buying them in bulk. Yeah. And then not being able to sell them back. <laughs> like, they're buying five PS5s and be like, who wants them? And stuff like that. And then making people only sell them for, like, a, a $50 profit. Yeah. Like, people are getting PS5s that are five fifty and selling them for 600 Just because they got their hands on them, bro. They're just like... For a $50 profit. For bro. a $50 profit. You're doing bro. all that. People, some people don't even realize how much money they waste when, and the stuff that you start profiting. It's just like when we used to drive like Uber a long time ago, a while ago, but um, <laughs> not knowing how much you like, you made like hundred bucks. Where we were on our Uber, we were on our Uber shit for sure. Man, <laughs> I knew I had to. Um, <laughs> I knew I knew I had to um, be done with Uber. Bro. Yeah. One time, uh, 
I got a I, I gave this dude an Uber ride to the hood. Yeah. All right. So I was done. And then so I'm done for the night. Drove back home. It's like twelve. I get a message from Uber saying the passenger would like to contact you. I'm like, okay, cool. So he like, hey, bro, I left something in your back seat. Can you drive back? Mm. Like, all right. <laughs> Drove back without even looking. I can see it in the back seat, and it's kind of like in a. It's it's like a wallet. It almost looked like a wallet, but it's not. It's like shaped like a like a C, but yeah. it's like a wallet. You know what I'm talking about? Look like a pocket. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like so I so I drive it back, and I'm like I don't want to touch it just in case there's some money in it or something like that, whatever. So I get there, and this dude pulls out. Like three knives, bro. It was a he was checking his stuff because he wanted to see if something was missing. Mm -hmm. It was some knives. It was like three bag of weed and like a bag of pills. Mm -hmm. and I look at this dude like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> You'd have been messed up. You ain't tell. I'm over here speeding to you. Yeah, I got all this stuff. You ain't tell me I got ten years in my car. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm driving fast as hell. <laughs> Be don't you? And then at the end, which made it awkward as hell. So he's sitting outside. And Mind you, one thing I hate more than being in my own hood is being in somebody else's hood. Yeah. So he's sitting outside. It's like seven of his homeboys. He's like, hey, bro, I ain't never met an Uber driver as cool as you, bro. I'm like, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. He was like, bro, if you really trying to make money, just turn that app off and just I hit you up. I'm like, what? <laughs> 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 Fuck you think this is? Yeah. You think I'm a hammer or something? Yeah. <laughs> you think I'm about to drive you to your drug deals? Bro, I have in a Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> I had two crazy uh Uber stories. One was I picked up this old dude from a gay bar, right? Thought nothing of it, you know, just driving and, and picked him up and stuff like that. But then I started feeling that hand <laughs> touching my hand. Well, actually, he was talking to me normal. Well, he was in the front seat? Yeah, he was in the front seat. Why you let him get in the front? <laughs> you because, should know. And he was just like, he's just an older dude. He's probably like 50. I was just like, he's just having fun and shit like that. Yeah, I never let anybody in the front seat. But, I don't care who they is. But he started like, oh, you work out and stuff like that? I was like, yeah, I, I work out sometimes. And he started like, yeah, I can. I can. <laughs> he touched my arm. He said, yeah, I can tell. I was like. All right, that was kind of weird. I just like, all right, let's just get to. You know when you just want to get somebody to their location as fast as possible. That shit so dead. So he kept talking to me. He was like, "So, um, sorry." He's like, "I'm really drunk. I'm really drunk. This, sorry, I, I didn't really mean to." I'm like, "It's like no problem." So I keep driving, and then he's like, "But yeah, you do." You know, you can pull over right now if you want. I said, "Bro," I swear. I stopped the car. I said, "You either gonna have to get out right now, or don't say nothing for this rest of this ride." And he chose, he's like, I'm sorry, please. He, when I let him, like, let him go, he's like, please don't support, please don't uh, report me to, to Uber. Oh, he and got stuff. out? Yeah. Oh, he was, uh, he, <laughs> Bro, he, he was horny. Yeah. Because he was, this how horny he, he was. He was testing me, though. He was no, he, skip all that part. <laughs> this how horny he was. Yeah. You gave him an opportunity not to say nothing else. Yeah. He like, I ain't going to be able to do that. I got to get out. <laughs> 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 that's crazy bro bro I that was man, that man was horny that also made me realize when if i was a a girl in that situation how like w more like right you knew you were stronger than yeah him. yeah i knew it but i knew it can protect myself but then put me in the position of like okay if we uh, for a girl so there dudes that be creepy like that out there stop that yeah that's <laughs> that's tough <laughs> another I, I would definitely yeah they, I, it definitely gives you a totally different perspective, perspective in yeah. that. Just be like, because what if he was way stronger than you? Like, what if that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a big buff dude. Hey, it feels like the rock. And he like, yeah, you got some muscles. I bet you your voice would have changed. You'd be like, could you please stop or I'm going to have to put you in the back seat? <laughs> Ain't no get out. You tell him get out. Yeah, yeah. He going to pull over for you. <laughs> <laughs> so stop the car then <laughs> I dare you <laughs> But this, hey, this You stop this car I bet you it still move Yeah <laughs> <laughs> There was another time I picked up this girl And All I saw was a girl <laughs> Sprinting to the car So I'm like What's going on And So she sprinted to the car And she She runs She hops in the car And she's like Uh Lock the door, lock the door. And then this girl was like in front of my car, banging on the car. And she's like, 
I'm like, what's I'm like, what's going on over here? She's like, you just gotta drive, drive. I'm like, I'm about to run this person over. And I'm like, just a high tense situation. So the girl was like telling the girl to get out the car. <laughs> See what I did? I locked the car, thinking that maybe they could take the fight outside and I just drive off, right? Not what happened. I locked the car. I got footprints in my back seat because the other girl that was chasing her, I guess that was her girlfriend, started stomping her from the car like this. Boom, boom, stomping her out, right? Inside my car, bro. So I'm looking and I'm like, damn, it's a lot of footprints getting on my damn car. <laughs> so there she's like, drive, drive. And I'm like, I can't. I'm not gonna drive with my door open. Like this can like turn really bad. <laughs> Are you a hoe? Yeah. <laughs> nah. So a she, no, no, no. You know what she said? She said, call the cops. Nah, and I, I didn't do that either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was like, call the cops, call the cops. Nah, I'm like, baby. Hey, baby, my shirt. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I started thinking, I was like, bro, I do not want to call the cops on, on this person. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. Now, and, imagine the two girls fighting. She like, and the girl getting stumped out. She almost unconscious. She like, call the cops, call the cops. She's like, nah, I ain't pay my insurance this yeah. month. <laughs> hey, we both going to jail, baby. <laughs> but then the cops eventually come and stuff like that. And then. They start asking for my license and registration. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> I'm like, bro, what do I have to do with anything? That, but that, like, what if my, I was like, insurance was was not, I had a warrant or something, or it, any random yeah. case, like, you have a license. That's what's tough. Like, I don't know how dudes do it with a warrant, yeah. bro. You got to avoid every situation. <laughs> but, like, you got to, you know how many times you're going to be wrong about two people about to get into it? Yeah. Damn, it look like they arguing. I'm out, bro. You know, the, the funny part, too, is that the cops kept me there so long. I was the last person they talked to, and the girl was like, <laughs> the girl still asked if she could get, the one that was getting stumped out, if she can get a ride to her workplace. That boy, Mike was traumatized. He said, no. <laughs> no, I said, okay. It was just a quiet-ass ride. That shit was crazy. It's like a, it's like a punish. Like, he punished your kid or some shit. Everybody nah. just, like, don't want to talk about the situation. It's quiet as hell when somebody get their ass beat. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you should have been like. <laughs> you started looking back hey, like, damn. You should have turned down the radio like. Hey, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> I didn't even want to ask what but happened. But you live to fight another day. <laughs> no, you just start training her and shit. <laughs> like, hey, honestly, hey, I know a little fighting, and I can I can help you out. I can save you from getting stumped out like that. Yeah, because when the cops got there, she the other girl that was doing the fighting, she just drove off. She, oh, that's hopped, smart. she hopped in the car, but I mean, she drove off in front of the cops. Oh, they chased her? They were, yeah, they were talking like, we need to talk to you. And then she just ran to a car and then zoomed off. And they chased her? No, they didn't chase her after that. They weren't really like, it wasn't like one of those like high speed chase. They got her plates and everything. So Oh, they're, they'll find her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She'll have a warrant out for her arrest. <laughs> yeah, it's like, She'll be at a barbecue. Some girls get into it. That, but that let me know. These cops, they be going on these wild goose chases. They be wanting to do it sometimes. Yeah, for they sure. They be waiting for that shit all they like. That's what they need to like. <laughs> If you if you wanted to be a cop all your life, that should like disqualify you from being a cop. Yeah, <laughs> what? Like, bro, you can imagine in every situation. <laughs> this be the cop. Freeze! Put it down. Yeah. It's like man, I got an action figure in my hand. <laughs> I got a question for you. All right, you now have the ability to see one random stat appear over everyone's head without them knowing. What stat would you choose? Stat? I would do salary. Salary? Yeah. Why would you want another salary? Could be networking. Ah, uh, that's I'm, smart. I feel like a lot of people, like how many people want to, like, you know what I mean? Somebody mm -hmm. that's in like, dang, what, how much you make? Yeah. You're just talking to a millionaire. <laughs> you don't even know how many yeah. millionaires you talk to and they nice and they like, man, you that's should come up. And they invited you over. They'd be like, man, you should come up for a barbecue. Yeah. And they're like, man, you weird as hell. Yeah. But you can see, like, damn, this dude make $3 million and invite me over for a barbecue. <laughs> yeah. Networking time. You definitely can start to uh, not waste your time with people that don't got shit either. They ain't got shit. As hey, bro, I'm trying to get with you, man. <laughs> I'm trying to see, man. I'm trying to do some business with yeah. you. Look at the shit, shit. Say 17000 <laughs> Motherfucker works second shift at Arby's, man. <laughs> <laughs> you worried about the wrong clothes. <laughs> or somebody got, a, like, a business opportunity for you and saying how much business they sold and shit like that. Like, bro. I got these uh these new uh these new electronics, right? We probably did like a million last year and I just need you in on a little investment of like ten thousand dollars. You look up and you'd be like, damn, say this boy's net worth is seven hundred. 
<laughs> God damn. 700. You start like, bro. <laughs> you can't even win a dice game. Yeah. You should earn that <laughs> playing craps. Yeah. $700. <laughs> you can accidentally find that if you look for money for the whole year. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a, that, I like that one. That's a really good one. I'm trying to think of any other one I would want to want to know but the money thought that's definitely the most i think that's top yeah i also i probably want to see how many fights you can win uh, you've won in your life mm, like see a, somebody fight record yeah fight record that's tough you getting into it with a dude you pull up his stats 49 and oh fuck is this <laughs> fuck is you floyd <laughs> You know what? I don't even want to fight no more, yeah, man. Definitely at the club. You 49 and 0? Yeah. You see a dude used... that's 0 and 36? Hey, fuck is you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you ain't getting your first win today, baby. <laughs> we could have used that too at that one club we went to, that one bar we went to. That would have been wild if their record was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> their record was crazy. Bro, that was the first time me and Pat ever went to like a club where we was like. <laughs> It just seemed kind of dangerous in there. <laughs> that, like... I'm just saying, it was, so, it was so tight in there, and we're, like, bumping into people. And you like, you never know anybody's, like, attitude when you bump into them. Yeah, it's just, like, dudes... Because you got to be like, my bad, my bad, bro. <laughs> I don't know why we be doing that to each other, like, bro. And then you make me do it back to you. Yeah. <laughs> you mean mug me, I'm a mean mug you. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck is you looking at? But it's just, like, I don't know why we do that, bro. Yeah, I don't like, know. I think people just, I think our people just be sizing each other up for no reason. For no reason. Like, they don't got to be hostile. They got to be hostile. <laughs> Y'all can have all these girls in here, man. <laughs> I don't want none of these motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 have them all. Yeah. Mm hmm. It was one girl in there dancing. She looked like Mojo to Jojo in that motherfucker. <laughs> Her head Mo was big as hell. <laughs> Mojo Jojo? Yeah. That person said Mojo the Dojo. Mojo Jojo. I just did say Mojo the Jojo or something like that. <laughs> I feel like that's what it is. No, nah, Mojo Jojo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like somebody say Mojo Jojo really long. Okay, that was just drawn out. Oh, I'm a new man this week. I tried something different. That boy finally. Washed up with soap. How was it? <laughs> no. So, I finally tried uh, wipes. Mm, you finally on that wave, huh? Yeah, I'm team wet booty now. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call it that, but wipes are great. <laughs> but that was the thing that kind of made me nervous about trying them, is having yeah. a wet booty. Having a wet booty? <laughs> and somebody so, come so up the, the closet? Yeah. About time. <laughs> mm. So, the first time I tried it... <laughs> The first time I tried it, I was like, what? I had to like, like use a, a a normal tissue to kind of like make it dry again. <laughs> Cause I was like, all right, hold on, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta uh, like go into it very gently. You can't just take the whole wipe and just wipe right away. You gotta like let it sit in there for a little bit. <laughs> Not sit. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta wipe gently just to kind of like ease your way to the wet booty. <laughs> and then I use the dry cloth, the dry tissue to to, to dry it up. Y'all yeah, know what time it is. Pause <laughs> Mike in the chat. <laughs> we got him again. Pause Mike in the chat. Run up the run up the comments. But no, it wipes make sense. Your butt's cleaner. Yeah. Dudes should be wearing using wipes. I don't <laughs> I'm wearing wipes too, but they should be using wipes though. You think so? I feel like every dude should wear I feel like everybody, period. But the should. concept of the wet booty is still kind of like... No, you dry it off after. With the tissue? Yeah. Also, that's the thing people do. Yeah. Oh, see, I'm new to the game, so I didn't know that. So that was... you walk around here with a uh, I the, see with, the... with swamp ass. I did it the second time. Because I when I did with the tissues, I'm like, I need to really immerse myself in the white culture. So or I didn't, you, I didn't know, just, I didn't know you can use a tissue still. Or you just run around your house and wait till it dry out. But how? <laughs> but you still gotta like spread your. T <laughs> nah, that chain, that's that's different. Nah, you different. For saying, leave it in a little bit. What? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that wipes Paul's is Mike in the chat. Wipes man. is wipes is something different, man. Nah, it's still, it's definitely. Hey. Like, What's what's the wipe company's dude wipes? This is where you can insert your your ad right here. There's dude wipes. That's what the brand's called. He paused though. This is where you can insert your. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. This is hey. where you can insert your ad here. I have a nice testimonial story. 
Hashtag Team Wet Booty. All right. So <laughs> there's a story out in Florida, right? <laughs> Go ahead. So the story in Florida of people competing to kill the, like this certain type of snake that's kind of messing up the 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 area over there. I guess killing animals and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Eight hundred contestants. Eight hundred entered this contest to kill these snakes. Okay. And it's whoever kills the most snakes. What state is this in? Gotta be Florida. Florida? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, <Yeah>. bro. <laughs> I don't even think I can find 800 people to kill a snake if I was offering money. In Nigeria, in the village, they have a day in the year. You know how, you know how people here go deer hunting? People go snake hunting. That's crazy. So I was part of the the crew one year because I was in the village one year mm-hmm. and I got my opportunity with a machete to slice off a a snake's head. Mm-hmm. So that was it. I can I I can I don't know this one the four things I might have like relate to a little bit. Okay. Maybe you can enter that contest. But Florida any type of, I see a headline like that, you know it's Florida. <laughs> it's Florida for sure. <laughs> I feel like it's easy to complain about stuff that you can do or you know it you can learn easily, mm-hmm. right? So if I'm in an Uber ride and the Uber takes the wrong way, I'm like, I wouldn't have did that. So I'm pissed. I'm giving you two stars, right? You deliver my food. You forget the fries. I wouldn't have did that, right? I would remember my fries, Yeah. right? Nobody should be getting mad at pilots that crash their plane. You would have did the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> You did the same thing, bro. Yeah. And I, if I was a pilot, bro, and I had some turbulence and I heard somebody say, what's going on? I'll come back. Put that shit on all the pilot. Like, hey, who the fuck said that? <laughs> Can you drive a plane? Okay, <laughs> sit your stupid ass down before we eject those seat cuz. Oh, man. No. I, I can I guess it's like one of those things where if it's your job and something you're trained at, yeah, I have the expectation that you should know how to do your job. Yeah, yeah, I get all that, but fuck all that. But another thing is, that, hey, it's better to be a good pilot than a famous one. Yeah, <laughs> but nah, uh, nah, you think so? There's no such thing as a famous pilot, bro. Because they all probably did. Nah, there are some that's that's that name some a pilot. Me. I can't name a dead exactly. one. Exactly. I can't name a dead one. I bet you, but you could. Some people can though. That's just you. That's just, <laughs> I think that's more famous. Is ones those, those ones that begin the little purple heart stuff for land for landing the plane. Oh, you talking about the army ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's even, true. Even the commercial. I'm talking ones. about commercial pilot. Even the commercial nah, ones. They be, you, commercial pilots have too much power to me. There's pilot, bro. There's pilots that make like life-saving things like obviously if you ride if you drive you know the greyhound yeah. right and you see somebody uh a semi lose control and you hit the brakes you don't get no clout for that bro yeah. you're better off <laughs> yeah. getting past that and letting the end get hit yeah <laughs> and they'd be like oh it was a bus driver that got hit uh-huh. <laughs> your boy but <laughs> <laughs> i didn't get it <laughs> Nah, the the pilots have so much power, bro. They be make they do be making hella life changing, like even stuff that we don't even know. Like when I landed in, when I landed in, a, what do you call it? In St. Louis, when I was supposed to land in Chicago, he did that because there wasn't enough. It was wet outside, and they didn't have. But some pilots, like imagine a pilot, be like, ah, I'm gonna try this. <laughs> or be, oh, we got enough gas, bro. You know what is ga- pilots did the same thing we do with our cars. No, like, no, like no, they no. gonna make it, bro. <laughs> nah, you missed the whole part though. What? I'm bragging, bro. <laughs> Fuck all that. If I, I, I'm i turning on the mic and that shit never leaving. <laughs> shit, I don't know if we gonna make it, man. <laughs> I might have to be real good right now. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> I need to concentrate. So if you talking, turn that shit down. Because <laughs> I'm about to do some shit and I ain't gonna lie, if y'all hear this mic cut off, we dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm letting y'all know. They have too much power in their hands. For real. <laughs> hey, oh, more good pilots, please. <laughs> Fact. Fact. No more famous ones. Yeah. <laughs> so I saw, you know, those pe- when people have bumper stickers on their cars, right? I saw one that my child is a, a scholar student. And I always think that <laughs> I hate those bumper stickers. Yeah. 
I, the only bumper sticker I respect is like baby on board. Yeah, Does that yeah. mean let you know like, hey, if I'm really mad at you and I cut you off, I could be dangering a baby also. Yeah. But all that other shit, I don't give a fuck about none of that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo son a veteran, fuck that shit. <laughs> let me merge. <laughs> Yo son an A plus scholarship, it ain't got shit to do with me. Is yeah. he in there with you? Let me merge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let me over. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't trying to hear none of that. All that peace, when they had a peace one, yeah. they let you know where the black lives matter. I don't care about none of that shit. My life matter right now, merge. <laughs> <laughs> no, facts, bro. I was just sitting I was just like, I don't think I would ever do that. Like. Like my kid, my kid knows how to count to three. Like, okay, your <laughs> kid on the honor roll. Yeah, what's that? What's, hey, what they gonna say? Yeah. Shit, we about to rob yo. No, don't do it. Yeah, her kid's a scholar. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Mm. Oh shit, Saran said he's ready. Uh oh, <laughs> what's the deal, Ron? Ron? Shelling like a villain, P. <laughs> uh, all right, I got a question for you. All right. All right. Would you die to stop racism? I'm a big person, man. I'm, I'm a, I, I like to eat family, do shit for the culture. So, no. <laughs> I'm going to fuck about that shit. <laughs> That's dead. Racism ain't got shit to do. Look, listen, it got something to do with me. But listen to me. I don't hate nobody. So, shit. Nigga, that, y'all got your own fucking problem. <laughs> yeah, damn, you gotta take that up with God. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, I want to talk to. No, don't talk to nobody. Jesus ain't gonna say nothing, but this ain't gonna stop. <laughs> you feel me? Like I be down there in the middle to cure all this shit. right now. This shit over with. <laughs> Hey, I, don't you feel? I, as I was telling Mike, I was like, if Lil Baby Bigger Picture song ain't do it, ain't, I don't think nothing gonna do it. Yeah, bro, it's over, bro. Like, <laughs> I love the world. You feel me? I love everybody, but um, everybody don't love everybody. So yeah, the you. world we fucking live in, bro. But anyway, Sharon, that's all we want to ask you for today. <laughs> for this, man, you know what it is. This has bro. been our Sharon segment. Ahead, plug it. Plug your stream again. S J A C K S O. S-K-J-A-C-K-S-O. Follow your baby. And you gonna look at your baby go off. You feel what I'm talking about? But yeah. this don't even look. Listen to me. I want to do this YouTube shit for real. Hey, like, hey, we, you got the we, content. Uh, for let me, hey, how about how about this? Tap in when y'all done with y'all podcast. All right, bet. All right, bet. Yeah, yeah. Tap in, please. Right, peace. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll see. You. All right, we gonna holla at you, bro. Where do hamsters live if they aren't a pet? Hmm. That's a good question. Well, where the fuck is a wild hamster, bro? A wild hamster? And, like, how do they survive? Because they don't do shit. <laughs> you said they don't do shit. Hamsters, like, useless, bro. I mean, I think it's the same thing as, like, a dog. Dog that we've known wild dogs before. Yeah, but there's wild rodents too. Has anybody ever seen a like a wild hamster? You have to put like a mouse trap down for a while. Like hamster. a muskrat. <sighs> a hamster. No, but there is little little those little um little peri dog looking things too. Like in that little family. That's not a hamster though. Uh, yeah. And they actually like they can move around, they can uh, dig holes. What little hedgehog like a hedgehog is like nah, a Nah, it's not a hamster. It's not a hamster. I don't know. Just maybe they're just too domesticated right now, cause they don't seem like they could survive on their own. No, nah, they don't, bro. Like, what are they gonna do? You put a hamster in the wild. What's it gonna do? Nothing. It's like it's gonna be food. <laughs> yeah, it's just food. <laughs> you just you're giving up your hamster to be food. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy as hell, bro. You know, uh, I was watching Snowfall, and then there was a scene that kind of caught my eye, where it's like, oh, they used to have those things. It was uh. Remember? Just because you don't like the way another nigga talk. <laughs> I, I haven't got to that scene really? yet, but I've seen. Of I've course, seen you've the, seen that. Yeah, but the concept of they used to be like the sex hotlines before, where you would call the girl. Remember the commercials? You call the girl, and then they'll talk dirty to you. She'd be like, "Hi, this is Delilah." You're like, she, she five hundred pounds on the other end, yeah. eating a Big Mac, <laughs> and they're like, they'll charge you by the by the minute. Like twenty five cents per per minute. Yeah, that's cheap. No, I yeah, about it. yeah, but it's just crazy. Like that was like like a thing. Like there was girls like trying to hook you and keep you on the phone the whole time for your money and stuff like that. Now, like, hey, 
You need your. I would use that line for homework. What? The hotlines <laughs> for homework? Yeah, twenty five cent. Hey, hey, skip all the small talk. Did you? What degree? You got a degree? <laughs> all right. So I'm at the point where you know M X equals B squared. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to get to like answer my question. Yeah. <laughs> Hurry up! You just made me blow another twenty five cent. <laughs> <laughs> you try to get real stuff. <laughs> Oh, there's another thing. She's a 10, but she laughs at your homie's jokes. Bro, why are dudes so insecure, bro? <laughs> Maybe your guy just funny. Yeah, you ever thought to... about it? Maybe he got a hidden talent. <laughs> Maybe you need to encourage him to go to comedic stand-up. <laughs> like, you ever think about supporting your friend, bro? <laughs> These dudes is weird as hell. <laughs> She's a 10, but she cheers when your homie score a basket, too. Like, what the fuck? She got the fucking game. Ain't she rooting for the team? <laughs> With you, probably, <laughs> Right. It was your assist. You still mad? <laughs> She wasn't cheering before I threw the ball. She didn't know it was going to be an assist. Yeah, maybe she don't even know what an assist is. <laughs> this is be All these tests for these relationships, man. This shit going to hell, boy. If you got somebody, hang on tight. Because <laughs> that pond ain't for everybody. <laughs> That's a lot of dumb fish out here. Yeah. <laughs> no, that one was, I was like, all right. That was a bad one. Because you know that trend is going around, like, she's a 10 or he's a 10, but yeah. that type of stuff. But mm. that one was just like, all right, bro. Y'all, y'all reaching. <laughs> it's a, all that whole concept, like, she's a 10, but it's just like, that's dumb. Yeah. Like, she's either 10 to you or is she not? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. She a 10 or not? <laughs> uh, another, remember we were talking about turning down money? Like, we don't know if you can turn down, was it 25, 50 million? Yeah, yeah. So Tiger Woods turned down seven hundred million. Yeah, I saw that. To for the live uh uh golfing tournament. Yeah. It's like the competitor, the new competitor to the PGA. Yeah. Turned down seven hundred M's. He said, I'm good. He good. He good. I, I feel like he's 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 to the stage. Obviously he's a billion this a lot of people I know we talked about it before. Mm -hmm. He's a billionaire with a divorce when he had a lot of money. Yeah. This is just show you how much money he has. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't need it. And I think he's like old enough to where like that's not really affecting his life yeah like maybe he can make a couple more investments buy some property but he probably already has everything he needs so live is a as a uh don't get me wrong if i'm saying this wrong but the saudi back like the like the you know the dubai and all those like saudi arabian yeah. princes and stuff like that yeah so it's backed by big money right by them and i think there's some social issues that are going on um with them where morally it might not be a right thing for some people to partner with them right now mm -hmm. and it's like pretty much just a competitor to pga and when you feel like all right i'm gonna take this 700 m's but is it really gonna make me more popular what am i what do i have to do like you know tiger not playing in every tournament like what is like what he, is... he 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 might feel like he's too old to be the face of another organization besides pga right now we don't even know how long this is gonna uh if this live golf tournament is gonna last right what does he get out of it though just to be the face of something new i think that's that's what i would think that he would get from it yeah is that what he would get from it is instead of the seven to eight hundred million which was reported yeah give me you know call it tigers yeah but ball. i feel like pga is tiger woods right now so it's like i'm already yeah, the face always of something. Be, yeah. yeah they have already i feel like he, they've They've already done that for Tiger, yeah. and he makes that money off the field. And then, but I get why the other golfers are doing it. Like, so these golfers have to win. Like, what other of our major sports where you have to win and get paid? Yeah. Like, this is a major sport raking out millions and millions of and this, dollars. And this company is shelling out money so, so you can pay. Like, I think Jack Nicholson's playing. A lot of popular golfers are. are Jack Nic I don't think Jack Nicholson's playing. No. No, he, he got. Yes, I think he is. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Phil Nicholson. Phil Nicholson. Phil said, Nicholson. Who's Jack Nicholson again? I think I was getting Jack Black. Jack. Yeah, you so you can. No, Jack Nicholson's the actor. Yeah. <laughs> Phil Nicholson, yeah. Phil, Phil Nicholson. But Phil the, Mickelson. Nicholson. Not Nickel. It is Nicholson. Mickle. Mickelson. Yes. Wow. That's how much I don't know about golf. Anyway, <laughs> but anyway, but he um I pretty I believe he went to the live uh Yeah, they're they're actually And PGA kicked him off. Yeah, too. they're actually suing PGA. Uh, and no, they're uh, getting a restraining order against PGA 
so they can participate in the upcoming event. Because PJ is saying they can't participate if you're going to go there, which I understand. It's like, bro, if you're going to go to the other side, you can't. You can't nah, you can't, you do can't that. play both sides. No, nah, that's then, like. But then it's like, when was this rule even intact? Because PJ has always been the most popular golf um, t- uh, series to play in. So I don't know. I think to me, I like competition because when you have competition, it makes your work better. Yeah, now you got to unionize and start paying these players the salary because people are coming to see. Now, Phil has to. Obviously, he's getting outside endorsements Yeah, because he was on the PGA. He used the PGA. Now he's like to a standard where the PGA kind of needs him, like mm-hmm. participate in this and bring some eyeballs to the eyeballs game. to the field. And you guys aren't paying me unless I win. Mm-hmm. That's the only time I get paid, so I got to win. And it's all this pressure, this competition, where these NBA players, people that's why people get mad at the NBA players, they go home and party. It's like, yeah, I just lost a championship. It's not like you losing your high school championship. Yeah. You got to go back home to your mom's basement and wait that's on like, the pizza rolls. To be I done. think like even in life now, too, competition is a, a healthy thing, especially healthy competition. I mean, that's yeah, like, yeah. some people are competing with people like in us in a way where it's like bro calm down like i don't think it's that serious but like even like in the podcasting world now it's like we look up to you know we see podcasts they're doing really good it's not like any jealousy but it's like you want to like okay i feel like we're just as good as these people let's just keep pushing and stuff like that and work harder i feel like when people like don't have that competition like it's just a monopoly and you're on the top of the hill and you've been so comfortable you're you start getting lazy because it's like they gonna listen to me regardless. Like yeah. they don't got no choice. <laughs> so like the PGA and all this stuff. Even like I like when these little leagues come out for the NFL stuff. Like the little XFL. Um, what else is there? USFL, whatever yeah, that yeah. stuff. Like that stuff is like even though it's not really like making the biggest splash, it's still like they're testing out different things in those leagues. With the NFL is testing out different things in those leagues that they can use for. Um, their league their league right so golfing like pay your players yeah. this is show you like hey we got to get some salaries going for maybe the top 100 players if you mm-hmm. make it to a 100 ranking the 100th ranked player always gets this yeah the 10th ranked player always gets this and like go about this a month if you can hold this ranking a month yeah and like yeah you gotta do something you can't just be making people win just because <laughs> like what if i i golf for a while and i'm making you know I'm making a hundred thousand dollars a year, but coming in, you know, whatever place gets me that. Yeah. For five years, and then all of a sudden I mess up my bag. Like, yeah, I feel that. Like, bro, I can't win no more. You see the NFL appealed uh, Deshaun Washington's case. Yeah, they got to. Yeah, I they didn't have to. Yes, but they did. I don't think they had to. Yes. Why? For a look. <laughs> oh yeah, for the look. But, yeah, yeah. But then it still diminishes what Roger Goodell put in the system to do was to make him not have control anymore of those yeah. d- decisions. I know, but, but the, he I, was the he president was, was the, the I was going to say the the scale was already shifted though by previous punishments for a way like in the terms quote unquote lesser offenses. Like people like what's his name? The from the Falcons that just got suspended for a year for gambling. Yeah. Right? Calvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley, right? Calvin Ridley got suspended for a whole year for betting $1,500 on the team. But the bar was already set for a year, like, um With suspension. Calvin Ridley, With yeah. Calvin Ridley, so. I get that, but, yeah, it's weird. Mm-hmm. Nonetheless, um, it sh- I feel like it should be at least half. Yeah. Half the season. Mm-hmm. At, at bare minimum, I don't, like, if he's not found guilty in the court of law, it's tough for me. Yeah. Because I feel like. I don't know. I feel like there's enough women to like. You would think that he would have been found guilty if something wasn't going on. Like, and then he paid off. Uh, he did pay off some in the settlement as well. Yeah, just like, but he paid off every woman though. Not everyone. Some of them cases dismissed, and they didn't even interview every woman for this to determine their decision for the six games. I'm saying how not the six games. His criminal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the criminal one. Yeah, yeah. I don't. It was not enough evidence or something like that. That. That got he was found mm. not guilty. Either he's like, the, it's crazy because either he's being lied on, yeah. or even he's or he's more creepy than we know. Yeah, because that means he's really fucking good at what he does that he never got caught. Yeah, so it's like, damn, they lying on him. That's crazy. Or he's so creepy that he's so good he never got caught. Like these girls was like. He knew how to text him. He knew how to, like, end it. He knew how to make sure he wasn't recorded. Because there's, like, no substantial evidence yeah. that, like, 
like no text messages and stuff nothing. like that. Nothing. So yeah. he must be really, really good at it or they're lying. Like, yeah. Which is crazy but then, either way. So what would be looked at as an appropriate punishment for the NFL to do? Like, is it eight games? Like, does two more games really constitute? No, no, no. Like, what? I actually, like- I don't. I take that back. I don't think it should be eight games. I think it should be indefinitely. And I think it should be until, like, I feel like just the NFL has enough money to keep investigating. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take four of my best guys and keep them on this case. And, you know, just until they come back and be like, this is all we have. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just keep investigating because I'm sure other stuff is going to start to fall out. Like, I think if they do, it, for no if they do the indefinitely thing, the what's the, the NFL Player Association probably will sue. Yeah, the NFL they, because and then it'll be a training order and he'll play anyways. Yeah, because he signed a contract this year only to get like five hundred thousand dollars. So yeah. if he got suspended this whole year, right? They only can take his base pay, which is five hundred thousand. If they suspend him indefinitely, meaning he can't play until say they hold it off for a whole year, mm-hmm. and then they start to say, all right, now you're going to be suspended for this amount of games during this season where you're making your 30 your couple million if they do something like that that seems way more like targeted you know like hey we're gonna try to target your big salary year so you can because the only the only way to get any type of like to me real like i don't know what's the word retribution for this or justice served for the people that feel like it's uh those too low would be a monetary a monetary thing because if like say if he gets suspended a whole year right what is that really doing like right he's still he's still gonna he was, make the same amount of money more money than he's ever made next year so it's like does it, do you give him more games they're trying to say find him eight million dollars and all this stuff like all this stuff like that it's yeah that's, that's what makes it weird because it's like he's either guilty or not yeah so when he was found not guilty in a court of law it kind of like messed up everything now the nfl is like how can we like suspend this guy for that long, but how can we not at yeah. the same time? And it's just like the worst. The worst part too is just that Roger Goodell put this system where it's like a, a arbitrator n- not affiliated with the NFL would review this case, and whatever their decision they make up is it should be good. Like that's their that's their decision they made, and that's just the choice they made. And I'm Roger Goodell. I don't have my hands in this anymore, so nobody can really blame me for being biased towards this or that this person is handling it but now it doesn't go your way it's like now you can veto it either way so it's like the rule doesn't really that's change a, no but, that's a good rule that he has why it's a good job because he never because just think of how many leagues make a decision and then they have to find out the backlash of the decision after yeah They're like oh shit we was wrong but it's still we didn't s- know everybody was gonna react like this so now i can say damn i'm really thinking about giving deshaun like this six to eight range mm-hmm. right i'm thinking about giving him that like i don't think i think the nfl is fighting for a full season because now they're fighting for a full season because they want to see how everybody reacted to this judge that has nothing to do with the NFL. Mm-hmm. So when the judge rules up like six games, everybody's like, what the fuck? Six games? Out, out, everybody, outrage, outrage. Players chiming in. Players like, damn, they all sitting in their office like, damn, we didn't know everybody was going to do this. Yeah. Everybody reacting like this. The players too. But it's not even everybody too. I know it's not everybody. It's but not it's even people a, that watch the NFL. It's a lot of people though. It's a lot of people. It's outside a lot of the people, NFL. right? Yeah. And but the NFL is like a government, it's a company. So outside the NFL matters too mm-hmm. for sponsorships, everything. So it's just like, damn, this is how they react. Now the now Roger Dale is like, okay, now he's gonna go one way off the reaction. Now he's gonna be like, oh, there wasn't enough reaction to this. And we can get away with the six to eight game suspension, whatever they decide. So we'll do that. Or maybe I'll add two to make it look like I'm trying to be harsh. Or I got so much pushback from this from our sponsors, everybody. I didn't know it was going to be like this, but I'm glad I never made the decision. So now I'm going to take over and and suspend Deshaun indefinitely. And now I look good. And like the NFL has morals because the NFL has changed but, the way they do things. Though. Yeah, but people outside the NFL, they're the ones that are really like, complaining. They don't know Roger Goodell is not the one that made the decision. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, Roger Goodell is like the president of the United States yeah. for the NFL. Yeah. yeah. You don't make no decisions. Yeah. There's so, a board. Yeah. For sure. So, but yeah, it just, it just seemed like a redundant rule. If you're going to like, if you're going to do it, just 
be that and then you can change your i guess i get it because it kind of be like you're changing your own mind after yeah. you hear some shit even though they did that before with the ray rice stuff yeah people don't and, that, and it's crazy a lot of people do not know at all who are the board members for the nfl yeah but I they're there no people. we do know they're the owners yeah <laughs> it's like yeah. those are the people that are like deciding this and they are doing it the owners are not deciding the owner i'm gonna tell you like probably 99 percent owners do not have morals that's how they got to where they at right yeah. now money. so money they're, talks. they're deciding off of how does this affect our money yeah does the shine playing affect our money? That's what the meetings are about. Mm -hmm. And if they put this out and they said, we're going to have this person say it and let's see the backlash on it and let's see what's going out. How does this affect our money? Did it affect our money? Everybody like, yeah, we're probably going to lose maybe a billion this year. No, fuck no. We got to spend them for the year. It's just yeah. one player. Life goes on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, hopefully that will get situated. Yeah. <laughs> It's always like it always know. sucks when you end like a criminal uh, conversation and you can't f say free somebody. Yeah, <laughs> and just lock everybody the fuck up. <laughs> everybody just needs to go to jail. Just go to jail. Down. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I think that is it for episode fifty-eight. Make sure you guys are following us on all platforms, subscribing. If you want to be part of the show too for a call, we I've been doing a bad job of this, but <laughs> I'll post it on our IG. So follow us on IG. We'll post it on Saturdays. We might not call you every every Sunday, but we just want to know rather to have people on standby if we do want to call somebody. Yep, uh, yep, so yep. If you want to be part of the show, be ready on a Sunday. We shoot on Sundays, and yeah, we'll we also got some uh, a date thing uh, e -date. coming up. An e date coming up. Uh, we found the person we're gonna use the girl. Now we just need we're gonna find five dudes to kind of do this and just kind of work on the. The logistics for it yeah to be honest you gotta have you gotta be 18 bro no no yeah that's for sure <laughs> you gotta be 18 i'm sorry like i know we got some young listeners you gotta be 18 bro. no for sure you gotta be 18 year old we're gonna id verify this too 100 <laughs> percent. you gotta bring your id everything <laughs> you gotta prove you don't live with your mom yeah. if you live with your mom you can't be on this show nah. <laughs> there's some kids still in college that listen what that gotta do? With, they don't live. They live in college. Yeah, but some people still work, go to college from home. No, one, last my last thought is crazy though. What? I just thought of this, go ahead. bro. When you die, right? Uh -huh. So let's say I'm gonna give you eighty. I should give you more. You might die. I'm gonna give. You, let's say you die in eighty. At some point, you waiting on some shit to come out, and you never gonna see that shit. Uh, like the new iPhone. Yeah. You like, damn, oh, I can't wait to switch to that iPhone. And God up there like <laughs> I'd probably be ready to bounce. At eighty? No, nah, not eighty. Eighty still no. young. Eighty young. Yeah. That's why I'm I, I, this is a, another random tangent, but that's why I need to start with focus on my mobility now. So you know you get in that habit of like moving around and doing yeah. these stretches and stuff like so by the time you get like 50, 60, just part of your routine that you keep doing. Yeah. I want to be a, I'd be seeing some of these really like healthy looking like ADOs. Yeah, like, I like them. Yeah, they'd be like still working out, going there, trying to be, <laughs> trying to be on that. Yeah, definitely. So I've been, been working on my old man moves at the gym now. I know. He's, hey, yeah, I gotta, I'm, I'm going to still be running. Just like when we went to, we went to West Bend to play those old dudes. Some of them dudes impressed me. Yeah. But some of them just be looking though. They'd be 49 <laughs> and looking like George Washington. You're like, oh, damn. <laughs> Anyway. put some lotion on it <laughs> this has been episode 58 of crash dummies podcast appreciate y'all peace